Hello YouTube people, I finally bought my first Timex watch. This is Timex Weekender 38mm. And you know, first of all I wanna get one thing out of the way. The reason why you don't see Timex watches on my channel and why Timex is not as popular in Europe as it is in America is because of the pricing. Some watches cost even double what they cost in America. Uh, for example, this Weekender uh, cost 70 euros in Europe. Uh, I bought this used, I paid 25 euros, very good condition though, but I believe that somewhere in America you could probably go to a random uh, supermarket and get this thing new for very similar price what I paid for the used one in, in the Europe. So that's the reason why Casio watches are way more popular in Europe. So with that out of the way, let me explain you why I bought exactly this watch. I actually had my eyes on this watch for a very long time and was very intrigued by this. Not only it looks cute, but also very intriguing because on Amazon it has over 20,000 reviews and nearly 5 star rating over those 20,000 reviews. This is crazy. This is probably the most popular watch overall. I don't even know. Well, definitely between top 5's most popular watches overall. I don't know. So wanted to really see what's up. I'll be honest with you, I'm completely blown away how pretty it looks like. I mean, looking in the pictures, it looks just yet uh, yet another cute watch. But in a person, when I put this watch on the wrist, look at the mirror, it just comes alive. It's so playful. And it's not just cute, it's also very beautiful. And interesting thing is, I can't really put my finger on something and say this is exactly why this watch is so beautiful. No. It's all about the whole package, the whole proportions, how it looks so fluid, so organic in a way. You know, I will give you an example, like there are certain things, you look at certain things, items, and you can clearly tell that they were digitally designed. And other type of design is like when somebody who really knows how to draw nice things, how to get very nice proportions, very fluid looking things, draw things on a paper first. And this is how this watch looks like. It's a complete opposite of a digital design. That's why I love this watch so much, the, the look of this watch. I mean, absolutely incredible. I got this watch, I set the time, put it on my wrist, and first 30 minutes, I was extremely happy with this watch. Like, wow, it's like this watch looks just as cute in real life as it looks in pictures, even, even more so. The proportions, everything, absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. But after 30 minutes, the next 30 minutes, I have worn this watch with the crown pulled all the way out. For the same reason, I'm doing this intro also. The crown all the way out. I just, I just can't stand the sticking. So as much as I love this watch, I hate it just as much. It feels like I'm wearing a wall clock on my wrist. It, I'm not kidding you, it is as loud as a wall clock. I mean, when this watch is ticking, I feel like a housefly would be flying around me. It's, it's that annoying, I don't get it. You know what, I'll put it this way. If this watch was not ticking, and if it was priced somewhere around from 20 to 30 euros, I would put this watch into God tier. That's how beautiful it is. I, I really like how it looks like, it's so lovely. But the ticking of this watch is loud to the point where I would call it unpolite in certain environments. It, the same way as too much of some extra strong perfume, it's a little bit unpolite. The same way as, you know, teenagers playing their music through phones in certain public places, it's a little bit unpolite. The same way is when you take this watch and put in a very quiet environment where people want to really focus on whatever they are doing, for example, very quiet office or library. Example, I'm sitting in a library reading a book, maybe I'm trying to learn something, I'm focusing really hard on the subject and you sit next to me with this loud ticking watch. That's a little bit unpolite. I mean, I, I, may, I may even ask you, could you please turn your watch off or go away from me? That's super annoying. That's how bad it is. And that's exactly the reason why I'm putting this watch into nope tier 
on my website thomaswatchyviews.com where rate watches into different tier lists and nope tier means I do not recommend buying that watch. Even if you find the sticking pleasing, if you find it relaxing or you don't mind it, but I just gave you an example how this watch could be a little bit unpolite. So that's the reason. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.